Come on, then. Say something or move on. Everyone just gets rude to you every time you walk near them, basically. This guy's a you braggart. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? Ah, you're a braggart. Brag to me. Do it. Oh, he's singing. Okay. Trade house notice. Ariel's trade house. Here is at the general sessions of the palace held for the, the district of House Hlalu at the town of Balmora on the 16th day of the first seat of the year of the reign of the sovereign king Hlalu at Athen Lithin at the, by the grace of the old gods king of Morrowind duke of oh, Jesus fucking bye <laughs> Errol of the port of Seda Nin Eforsted hast entered into recognizable securities let's see is it just an agreement? It sounds like it's just an agreement, like license. Oh yeah, even rules and laws, like that he shall not suffer any playing at cards, tables, dice, bowls, nine holes, so no gambling. Okay, so there's a lot of rules here, basically. there would be a lot to go through. And man, if that's not the densest, most unfriendly language to try to go through. And everyone signed up. Including Ingling Half Troll. Wonder if that person's around here. What was that? Why are you startled? Stop being startled by things. It's weirding me out. What do you want? I'm just looking what around. Stranger? Just looking around. Okay, so everyone's just gonna like shout at me at random when I walk by. Alright, we'll just accept that. I talk to you. Go ahead, you're not interrupting anything. I'm alone. Scout, you need directions? So I can ask directions to a whole bunch of different places, including Vivek and other places. Not right now, necessarily. Honor, or maybe I should. Press your luck. If I ask about Balmora, maybe it'll be added to my journal. Balmora is the district seat of House Lalu, and the largest settlement on Vardenfell after Vivek City. Good roads lead north from here to Balmora, passing through Fort Pelagade and Pelagate Village. From Balmora, roads lead north to Aldrun through the city of Caldra, oh, Caldera. And maybe I'd better write down the directions to Balmora for you. It's a long walk and a little confusing. There we go. We have additional directions I can use then in my journal. That's my journal? The Last Seed. So, the, so we live in the era of the, uh, the warrior right now. Interesting. Alone at gave me detailed directions to Balmora. Interesting. So if I click on Balmora, I can get like extended directions about how to get there. And so if I there we go. That's good to know. I even have individual quests. An island to the north and report to Caius Cosades, which I click on, and it, and it reminds me that I'm supposed to find him in Balmora. Okay. But this journal is fairly. Elaborate and useful. Let's get back outside. I, of course, have a way... I, I have a quick way of getting there if I want to. I'm curious to see if maybe exploring around the Silt Strider will reveal some kind of cave with an outlaw on it so I can try my first fight out. Since that seemed to be the suggestion, unless they meant that I was supposed to go to a completely different Silt Strider place, for, perhaps. You basically have to sprint everywhere if you want to move this speed, because the normal walking speed is this. Which would take a while. But but sprinting, of course, eats through my stamina, so it's not the best idea either. Just updating my save real quick. Ah, that might be the cave we were heard you were hearing about. Can I collect these mushrooms? Huh. So stuff on tables you can pick up by, uh, just hitting spacebar and it gets added to your inventory, but these guys, you gotta, like, walk up to them and spacebar them. Whoa, that was weird. And then, like, open an individual screen to proceed. Does this stuff hurt me or anything? Is it just bog? Dagger tail. Curious about you. There's a take all button. Oh, there we go, that's much faster. The obligatory Elder Scrolls moment of, Hey look, plants! Let's pick them all up one by one by hand, see what happens. 
We'll see if we find use for them as we go. But here's some. Yep. Adamasartus. Someone I can try combat against, since apparently he's a horrible, horrible monster. Or she? Thing? There is no escape. Oh, hi. How you doing? Aha. Oh. That yellow meter your health? Is that how this works? Oh. Might be. Ow. Listen, I will flail at you so hard right now. Fear me and my flailing. All right, you have been conquered. I apologize, but it was necessary. I say. They have a chitin dagger. Let's see. Three to three on chop slash, four to four on thr thrust. I'm curious if that compares. Nope, it's noticeably weaker. And I can't even wear boots. But I might as well grab what I can. How much shirt? Ooh, the slave key. That's a distressing name for a key. And then you have what? Just pants? So I also have common pants. Can I put on different common pants to look different? Is that how this works? So they do look different, which is kind of neat. There we go. It's kind of a neat, different look for my character, at least. I actually don't know if I can do a third-person camera like you could in, uh, in Oblivion. What does Dispose of Body mean? It's just gone. <laughs> Boof. Wow. Interesting. A lot of stealth characters would like to have that particular power in their game, huh? Hi. Did I just open that with the key, or was that already open? Oh, got in the way. Just keeping an eye out. Is there anything else here? Not that I see. Ah, the slaves. Hi, everyone. You're free. My people. Man, that's a hell of a walk cycle you got there, buddy. How you doing, Badago? You have the key to these bracers? Will you let me go free? Go free. You have the key. Will they let me go free? Yep, I unlocked the, the bracers. Yeah, let's do that. Yes! Bardago is free. You are a good friend of Bardago. Go free. You freed me, Pat Yelchin. Alright. May you walk on the warm sands. You also look like identical to me, which is distressing, but we'll just try to look past that about ourselves. Let's, uh, go free. Bracers. There you go. Get out of here. That. That might be useful. Put these bracers around away before I like, hurt someone. You go free. Just taking those apparently. All right, Okao and Banals and Badargo, you're all free. Your shiny, glowing bracers that were stuck yes, on you are all gone. Guest. And your captor is quite dead. You call me an honored guest of your slave pen? I guess you've got a sense of humor. Should I look into these items? Slave's right bracer. Armor rating zero. It's he so it's heavy and drains magicka and is just useless. Great. And one of them was lefty. Interesting distinction. So you all ready to go? Go free. Uh, Solstheim. A terrible place, I've heard. There's a boat from Cool. if you have any reason to go. Warmly greeted, friend. Welcome. Uh, they greet me to welcome me into their slave pen. Alright. Are you gonna leave, though? I'm just gonna trust them to find their own way out. <laughs> Presumably, they will eventually free themselves. You will suffer greatly. Oh, he's a magic man, isn't he? Probably a problem. Die, 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 die. I'm dead. Turns out magic's scary. All right, let's load it. I was very, very, very dead. Let's um, let's get back to where I left off. Maybe I should try. Should have tried the paralyzing kiss, or maybe. I should be even slightly prepared for that scenario before I go into it.
All right, everyone has been re-freed. Let's see if I can prep my spell. Maybe paralyze the crap out of this guy who tries to burn me to death. At the very least, I saved, so I won't die. I won't have to go all the way back there if I die again. Aha! How does paralysis feel? Oh, you're hard to hit. You're hard to hit. Please die. 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 He's dead. Are you a caster too? Because I'm... You're throwing knives at me! Look at you! Little badass. I'm all fatigued at the moment, which is a problem, probably. Oh! Aha! You're throwing stars out. Ow. You're throwing stars are a match for me, as it turns out. Wow. Game, you scary. Aha! You cannot defeat me and my ability to kind of walk away from you a bit. Uh... Okay. I'm just hoping for some of my fatigue to respawn a bit. While I avoid her. Alright, going for it. Ha ha! Stabby, 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 stabby. Come on! Hey, I got more short blade skills. Please die, please die, please die. Yes! Ha ha! And your dagger is crap, but you got a probe and we got a lockpick and those are probably good news. Take all. Thank you. Much appreciated. The theme song is playing. Body's still there, thankfully. Gonna have a save. Just because I don't want to suddenly die here. So you dropped leather boots, common robe, titan dagger. Nothing super noteworthy. Scare the body, I suppose. That's just a thing I can do. <laughs> so my current shirt has a weight of two. This has a weight of two. Can I put it on? I can, and I, and the pants stay on too. That's an option if I want it. I got some. I got some cosmetic options here. Oh, does it go on over my? Interesting. So it actually goes on over my current uh, shirt and pants. I thought it was replacing the shirt, but it's actually a separate layer on top of that. That's some interesting little detail there, but I don't think at the moment that any of this stuff actually gives me a defensive boost. It's just a matter of me not wanting to run around completely naked in the in the open, which is um reasonable concern, I think. Hello, spoons, gold, battle axe. Titan Helm, look at that. Armor rating 13, there is some armor. That's what I'm hoping for. The Scroll of Ondusi's Unhinging. Okay. Open 40 to 60 points on touch, so it's a lockpicking thing. Another egg and stuff. Can I put this helm on right now? Beast races cannot wear full helms. Okay, so it's a helm, but it's a, it's a helm that's incompatible with my setup. There's another slave key, which I already have, but I'll grab another one just for funsies, you know? And I can, I can at least sell this stuff back at the base. And if nothing else, I've at least uh, increased my short blade skill by one. That's monumental, uh, incremental progress, not monumental. So I do not appear to be healing over time. It's light armor, right pauldron, so I can put that on. This is light armor, right, gauntlet. I'm putting on one gauntlet at a time, wow. That is some, that is some detail for, for uh, armor management in the game. So it would appear that no one else is here. Oh, this cave keeps going, never mind. I thought, I thought it might be over. We got moon sugar. An amulet, did I put that on? I am wearing that amulet now. Expensive amulet. Ooh, look at me being badass. I'm gonna put on a ring for no reason. There we go. Look at all this crazy stuff I'm wearing right now. I have an armor rating of one. Fear me. There's goblets up here. So I'm going to quickly fill out my inventory if I take everything from here. So let's do that. And just doom myself. Thankfully we're right by town, so it should be easy to take everything back. We have a chest with a steel mace. Blunt, one-handed. Apparently higher damage than what I have right now, sure. But it's uh, not my specialty, because it's not a short blade, it's a mace. 
so it's probably not a great idea to use it. But it's probably significantly slower, I would assume, too. Just to make just to try to make sense of the damage boost and stuff like that. So I was able to open this with the slave key. Are there more slaves down here? Before I go on too far. Just update the save. Ah. How about we learn about swimming? Let's maybe keep the head above water, huh? Oh, we're actually standing on the floor. That's so not too deep. But it's going to become... We're going to be underwater now. Careful! Oh, oh there's a the breath meter. I don't have to. I don't have to question that now. We need a way up. This place is elaborate. I just thought it'd be a tiny little cave with like one enemy in it, and be like, "Oh, look, you got her." The end. But this is like an extensive thing, full of bandits and slaves and monsters, and I'm having trouble moving here. I can't seem to get on the ramp. There we go. Now where are we gonna end up? Oh, that's probably not good news. Hi. Who's your spooky rat? Die, die, die. You're- are you gargantuan or what? Are you a- Are you even attacking me? I don't think he's even attacking me. I think he's- I think this is just his idle animations as he hangs out. But I, but he was at head level so he looked gargantuan next to me. No, that is, that is a giant rat. I'm not crazy. How do you jump in this game? I'm sorry, I need to figure out how to jump. Because... Let's see. Jump is E. I would have never have guessed that. Because I, I, I couldn't get up the, that stuff because I wasn't... I couldn't jump. Ah! Get out of here! Nightmare rat! Yeah, it, it actually was pretty big. It looked absolutely huge. I thought it was a wolf when I first saw it at head level. Like I, this is how I die. Goodbye, everyone. Got a left pauldron, a thief's ring. That's probably good news. All you had to do is get past all the nightmare rat stuff. Where's that pauldron? To be in apparel. Cloth left bracer. There's my left pauldron. Collecting a lot of boots and other things that aren't going to help me out here. Okay. The braces are definitely not going to help. Thief ring, though, that's interesting. Fortify agility, 5 points for 30 seconds. Fortify speed, 5 points for 30 seconds. Fortify personality, 5 points for 30 seconds. So I will have the ability to use all of the... Basically, all three stats that are, uh, that are uh, useful for my character can all be buffed for a, a period of time. Good to have. Probably take off the common ring so it doesn't get confusing how to get rid of it. I have a cloth left bracer. I have left and right pauldrons. I'm slowly building up an armor rating so I hopefully won't die as quickly. Neat. And now I know how to jump. So we're learning important things. Important life lessons. For the first time ever I learned how to slightly lift myself off the ground like some kind of... ...young child. <laughs> I do get worried about sprinting everywhere, because that affects your overall fatigue level. I probably want to go back to the beginning, because there was a pool of water I never checked. But I ended up going down this one. Keep moving. Do I need to crouch? Now where am I? It would appear that we've looped back to the beginning. Yep, and there's a drop point I couldn't have crossed before. Okay, so we looped all the way around. Okay, so they, they used that kind of uh, cave design all the way back in Morrowind. It was just an intuitive, smart thing to do, I suppose. To be like, uh, we need to make it so we can point the player back where they started so they don't just hit a dead end and then have to backtrack to the whole thing. Curious about this place, though. I never checked here yet. I'm hearing footsteps that I should probably be worried about. There's an iron saber. Fishing pole. That's funny. Anything on the corpse? The corpse does have something. Oh, bone meal. Alarming. Get up before I drown!
Oh, there's a box in here. Nothing else? I was curious about that because I thought I I thought I uh, heard footsteps, but I guess not here. Maze, gold, spoon, I'll take it. Stuff I can probably sell. Yeah, that totally sounds like footprints. Maybe it's on the surface somewhere, or maybe I've missed some sort of turn that I could use. Either way, I've taken out my first wave of enemies. I am wounded. I freed some slaves, got some new equipment. And I'm right next to a town, so the obvious thing is to go right back there and see if we can heal up. And sell- and offload my goods. And maybe get rid of the- all the naked dead people in this place before someone starts looking at me weird. Probably should put the fire out. Oh well. Didn't say I was a responsible adventurer. Technically haven't told anyone I'm an adventurer yet. Heh. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get to the Silt Strider in a bit, but first, let's get right back to town and see how much I can sell off. Can't believe this game came out in 2002. I was 12 years old. This came out the year that uh, I was watching and still enjoying, because I didn't know better yet, uh, Star Wars Episode 2 of the Clone Wars. Oh boy. That was a different me. Yes, yes. All right, we have to go through the front door. So I don't. There doesn't seem to be a lock picking mini game. It seems like you just can lock pick. Like something has a lock. Wait, never mind. The one thing that had a lock level that I opened was opened with a key. I forgot. Please feel free. Talk at your leisure. You will have to get rid of that moon sugar if you want any services from me. I don't want any trouble. Oh. Moon sugar is illegal, apparently. Did not know that. Where are you? We have 13 moon sugar, which apparently gets me in trouble. Learning things. My time is precious, so make it quick. I'm not talking to you, lady. You're very full of yourself, aren't you? Should I be, like, dumping this on the ground? Can you just dump it on the ground? Just leave it there for a bit. Now will you talk to me? I also, let's put the sword away. A good conversation. I'm not going to buy that skooma from you. Get rid of that and we can trade. How many illegal th substances did I just collect back to back? Holy crap. Where's the skooma? Apparently. Is it in this menu? There are so many items here. I got pillows and soul gems. Those are fun, right? And specifically not illicit... Uh... Things. If only he could have said that all at once. I don't even know what skooma looks like, dude. The pillow, soul gem, gold. Am I... Uh, what is skooma? <laughs> what is skooma? I got eggs of varying sizes, crab meat, heather, sk oh, skooma. There you go. I can't wait to find out what the next thing is. I'm not allowed to, uh... Oops. Bring with me. You've piqued my interest. Please, Barter. share your thoughts. There we go. So... Let's see if I can get rid of these... Bracers. He'll sell me... He'll, he'll, he'll give me three for those. That's nine total. Skull... Right, that's the scroll that gives me the lockpicking. Let's have a cup. Bowl. Pillows. Yeah, you like those pillows, don't you? Might keep the soul gems, not sure. Slave keys. I feel like I'm not going to use those again, will I? Crab meat. An expensive amulet. Now there's something. Steel mace. I'll sell off the weapon that I'm probably not going to use. Iron sabers, a long blade. We'll get rid of that. I can't use these helms. Or these boots. I can't wear boots or helms, apparently. Interesting thing to know about myself. These daggers are all weaker than what I have right now. There's a battle axe. Wow, I collected stuff fast, didn't I? Well, he, he has a decent amount of gold, so I can actually make some money off of him. Lots of pants. Common ring. Let's maybe get rid of, rid of the eggs. I don't know an, an, another use of them yet, but I just know that I have limited inventory space, so I shouldn't fill it with every random thing around me. There's some brandy. 
<laughs> I'll trade him my gold. That's a sane thing. I'll just throw my, my all of my gold at him. He can have this robe. Especially now that I'm getting armor to put on those slots instead. Bone meal. Ashiam. Oh, man. I actually have a lot. Maze. I'll keep the bread. Maybe the fishing pole? Don't know if you can actually fish in this game or if it's just an item you can pick up and be like, Hey, look, I got this, I guess. Will he pay me for those keys that he doesn't know what they do? I don't buy that item. I kind of figured. It'd be really weird if he wanted to buy the, uh, buy those. I think that's... I probably keep these things. The gold... The, the spell... Oh, Saltries. The wheat. Yeah, I'll keep my papers and some of my heat and some food. My lockpicking items and my gold. And my fishing pole, I suppose. Okay. So, seller max. How's that work? So, does that mean... It probably means that I try to ask for 800? Yeah, okay. So based on his opinion of me, it looks like I can try to barter with him, and it's a bit of a gamble there. So he, the starting value here is 255. Let's see if I can increase it to like... 350 for starters? Oops. Just for starters. Because he does like me, especially because I helped that other guy offer. My offer's refused. Does he does he like you less every time he refuses your offer, like in some games, I wonder? If that is the case, uh, there's no meter for how much he likes me on this screen, so it's not being conveyed there. Offer? 300? Refused. Apparently I suck at this. 270. There we go. Thank you, please come again. How about... spells? He sells Absorb Fatigue. Wow, these are expensive, by the way. Or some of them are. You can see, you learn Fireball pretty easily. Destruction, Destruction, Restoration, Restoration, Illusion! Restoration, re Destruction, okay. So, Illusion. It'll teach you, it'll give you Sanctuary. 1 to 40 seconds for 5 seconds. Whatever Sanctuary is. Maybe we'll go, come back after I get a chance to learn what Sanctuary means before I go buying something like that. Let's see. So now, confusingly, everything I sold him is now in his inventory, and I have to sort of look around those details. Okay. Skeletal minions. Yeah, so I can buy all the different scrolls that he mentioned earlier. There's also supposed to be potions? Somewhere? Oh, he also sells armor. That's not the worst idea. Let's see, switch to apparel just to try to at least reduce the amount listed here. Got shields. Is he, does he have a light armor set? Light. The, the Netch light, curious. Light armor, value 35. Nordic is also light. As he, Nordic chest has 6 armor. So does Netch. Weight 12. Weight of 9. Condition 150. Why would I want the Netch one that has the same armor rating, but weighs more? Alright, is there another light one to look at that all, that is even better, perhaps? There's a Chitin set, which is weirdly creepy. This one has an armor rating of 13, but a weight of 6. So it's just more efficient, right? Even the, the Nordic one. Yeah, that's light armor that gives you 13 and 6. Just to make sure I'm not making a mistake, let's go ahead and... Oh, do to leave this first? Cancel? Before I make any big purchases, I... Ah! Before I make a big purchase, I just want to update my save. In case it makes a, a horrible mistake or something. So, barter. Let's try getting... The apparel. That seems like it'd be good. Why is it red? Oh, because I just grabbed it and it's not in my inventory yet, I think. I don't, th don't think I can wear the boots, and I can't wear the helm. Could get the gauntlets, shield. How about the legs? Is there a chitin leggings? Like the pants, I mean, not the boots. I wonder if you even get armored pant, uh, pauldrons. No, the pauldrons are not the right thing to call them, are they? No, because the pauldrons are the shoulders. So I don't, I don't think there's a legging component to that set. So maybe I'll look into the Nordic leggings then? 
No, I don't see any. So I don't think there's armored pants? Oh, the greaves are here. Maybe greaves are only for heavy armor. Everyone else seems to have boots. But I can't wear boots, I can, but I can wear pants. Okay. How about weapons then? You have a really cool dagger somewhere? Here's a short blade, that's the chitin one. Those are the ones I sold you already. Could get a bow too. Why would you want a bow made of chitin? That seems like a terrible idea. That doesn't seem like a reasonable material to make that out of. I just want to see if he has a special... Short... Yeah, short blade, the Iron Tanto. Uh, 5 to 6 and 6 to 6. This is... 4 to 5 and 5 to 5, so that's not a bad idea. Get the Tanto. Is there another variant to pick from? Short blade, Iron Short Sword. Ooh! 4 to 9, 7 to 11. That's a, those are some big... Those are decent numbers. It must be slow then, huh? I would assume. But it is within my specialty, so I may want that. The Iron Short Sword. Any other options here? Iron Dagger. Silver Short Sword. Uh, 5 to 10, 7 to 10 versus... Okay, so it's... The Iron Short Sword has better thrust, but this one has better chop and slash. Apparently. I think I'm gonna go for the silver short sword. It's just 80. Oh yeah, that didn't cost very much. So the the va the value listed when you highlight stuff is not equal to the value you get for buying and selling. And it, that goes that goes both against me and in my favor. The stuff I was selling one didn't sell for as much as it said like it might so sell for, but this thing so I uh, got it added to my overall total cost for significantly less than the supposed value number would indicate. Yeah, these things have a value of 125 total, and I'm getting it for 71, so... I guess there just isn't a one-to-one -one correlation between those numbers, although I do also have a... bit of a multiplier a added to how much this stuff should cost, just in general, I suppose. Let's just uh, try that. Let's see if I can take it down to... 65? Yep. Reduced it a bit, and he seems to be fond of me still, because he's got an 86 on my score. So can I wear you? So you can be worn just fine. And here's my new sword. Yep. My time is precious, so make it quick. But look at this guy. Got myself a short sword to use. I may as well sell off what I had what I had before then. Oh wait, I didn't have anything before. I'll probably keep the dagger just in case I want to change my mind. But yeah, I didn't, cha I didn't change out a chest piece because the previous one was just a shirt. And I'm still technically wearing that. There we go. I've got actual equipment like some kind of adult. There we go. Need to find out how to heal though. Maybe an inn. A rest spot. I suppose you must count, perhaps. Maybe not. Eh, if I stick to civilization for a little while, it can't be that bad. Let's maybe go check with the Silt Strider so first. The or go away. Yes. Yeah, there's the Silt Strider. Let's go find our way to that town we were supposed to be getting to, and maybe update my save while we go. I'm ready for a change of scenery. This is a nightmare location, isn't it? Hi. Why walk when you can ride? Darvame Hleran. This is the seaport village of Seira Nin, Outlander, in the Bitter Coast region. I'm a caravanner, and I manage the Silt Strider port here. Tell me your destination, if you're looking for a ride. Or if you're new to Seira Nid, I can help you with local services, or any specific place in Seira Nid you're looking for. If you want someone in particular, maybe I know where to look. Let's try... Travel. Balamora. It costs 14. That's fine. Whoa, no no confirmation. Where would you like to go? Ah, people are saying things to me. Hi. Hello. Well, this place looks gargantuan. <laughs> These Khajiit have amazing walk cycles. Look at that. Is it a Khajiit or an Argonian? They Where might have the same stay? ones. That's an Argonian. <laughs> ah. I get a kick out of that. Although there's something slightly terrifying about it. If that came if you saw the silhouette of that coming at you, you might be a little worried. Alright, well this place is gonna keep me occupied for a while, isn't it?